Thank you, Elizabeth, for your beautiful readings. Thank you particularly also for the citation from Message for 1902, which said, Since God is love and infinite, why should mortals conceive of a law, propound a question, formulate a doctrine, or speculate on the existence of anything which is an antipode of infinite love and the manifestation thereof? The sacred command, Thou shalt have no other gods before me, silences all questions on this subject forever. It forbids the thought of any other reality. Since it is impossible to have art unlike the infinite. And then he goes on to say, The knowledge of life, substance, or law, apart of, or other than God good, is forbidden. Thank you so much, because it really does emphasize once more Mrs. Sedi's many instructions in her writings that we should hold the first commandment uppermost in our thinking. I'm so grateful for this, for the discipline to do that, because I think it is true some years ago in this church, Mrs. Evans had said, when we align our thinking with God, we can hear him talking to us. And sometimes even the conversations are long. And they're all good, beautiful thoughts. Earlier this year, about 5.15 or something, I wrote it down because it was so beautiful. I was hearing this. Let your confidence be because I and my father are one. And I'll make it personal now because after that, I made the your all mine. Let my safety be because I dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Let my health be because I am the expression of life. Let my intelligence, sight, hearing be because they are in mind. Let my whole being be governed by the holy laws of perfection. I'm so grateful for that. I know this is one of those conversations or messages of comfort that God gives. And it really does affirm that without God, there is no living. For life to mean anything, for us to experience any true freedom, our lives must be all about God. I'm so grateful to have learned this, to learning different ways of it, of really bringing it into my life. So grateful to hear God's glory <clears throat> in all these other testimonies that other people have given. A beautiful service. Thank you very much. And I'm happy to be here tonight.